Hi, this is Brian Casey with The Grill and the Fig, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Kunwaz. Kun what, you say? Kunwaz is definitely one of the more fun and interesting grapes that we work with in the restaurant. When we mention it to guests, they're not exactly sure what we're talking about. The grape is one of the main components of the Chateau Neuf de Pop wines, but is relatively unknown here in the United States. So we try and introduce it to as many people as we can. Kunwaz consumed on its own is a very fruit forward wine, very soft tannins. Uh, you've got sort of flavors of cherry and raspberry. Uh, but it doesn't have a strong tannin structure, so it's not a wine that you want to lay down in your library, in your cellar. This is something you want to drink young while it's uh, fresh and fruity. Kunwaz compares probably closest to Pinot Noir, depending on the style of the Pinot producer. If someone comes in and they're looking for a very soft, light red wine with soft tannins, nothing too chewy, something that's easily drinkable, uh, then I would say Kunwaz is definitely the perfect choice. So Kunwaz pretty much goes with everything. Because it's so light and has soft tannins, it's almost like drinking a rosé or white wine. You can have it with fish, you can have it with steak, you can have it with chicken, uh, with pretty much any type of cheese and charcuterie, and even I think with chocolate would be incredible. Precise origin of Kunwaz is unknown, but we know it dates back to the 14th century where uh, supposedly it was given to Pope Urban V and planted in the Chateau Neuf de Pop vineyards. Cunois saw a sort of a rebirth um, at Chateau de Beaucastel, which is related to the Tablas Creek uh, family that we have here in Paso Robles. And they found that it was a great complement to Syrah. Um, and in Provence, it's actually known for its rosés. Some of my favorite producers of Cunois would be Bill Frick, who does a real light, um, fresh style of Kunwaz. Every year when it's released, we get about 10 cases and we pour it until it's gone. It generally takes about a month and a half, two months. On the other side of the spectrum, you have Westwood Winery that's uh, growing their Kunwaz just up Highway 12 towards Glen Ellen. They are aging this in oak for a fair amount of time, so you've got a completely different style of Kunwaz. This is a deeper, darker, and takes on those oak flavors. So this could actually stand up to something like a steak on the grill. This is Brian Casey from The Grill and the Fig saying, know your vines and enjoy the wines. <laughs>